Scotty's champs lost their lead, but they haven't lost what they do best, winning. Team Canada came flying out of the blocks, an 8-2 victory in draw one. But will tonight's game be easy? Krista McCarville tweaked her lineup. A familiar face from the East Coast has joined the squad. Can the team from Thunder Bay finally reach the top step? Northern Ontario, Canada, draw three, next. It is Saturday night at the Scotties Tournament of Hearts. Fans roll into the Mark and McPhail Arena to catch the action tonight. It sounds to be a great matchup across the board. This afternoon, though, we look back to the game against Jennifer Jones and Nova Scotia's Heather Smith. It is that shot at the top of the forefoot that Jennifer faces. Has to go way out in the wings in the eighth end. So well judged by Carly Burgess, Lauren Lenentine. No mistake, this is vintage Jennifer putting it right on the forefoot. That's a two-point edge for Jennifer. This means a lot. These are the scores this afternoon. We showed you the Jones game. It was BC Clancy Grandy 9-4 over Danielle Inglis from Ontario. Rachel Holman started to roll in the second half and rolled on to a 9-5 victory. And it was Kate Cameron from Manitoba 10-5 over Melissa Adams from New Brunswick. So most teams have played already one game, two byes, Stacey Curtis and Bailey Scoffin tonight. And so you have teams with one win, one loss, and it doesn't seem like much, but with only three teams advancing, those teams with one loss cannot go to two this early. Well, joined as always by Russ Howard with no Scotty's wins. Joanne Courtney, one win, one world win, and seven appearances. So, Joe, I'll go to you first. You know what it takes to win. Carrie Anderson, horrible news at the beginning of the event that Breanne Harris is ineligible, and yet they played so great last night. How do you explain that? I think it's professionalism and it's talent and it's just pure desire to win. They're here to win their fifth Scotty's title in a row, and they're not going to let this chance pass them by because of this news. I mean, it's obviously got to be really hard for them but they're here to play. Northern Ontario, Russ, every year we talk about Krista McCarville, how naturally talented she is, not enough reps. How is it gonna be any different this year? You phone Andrea Kelly. I think that's the big difference here. I'm really high on Andrea Kelly. I've watched her through her entire career. Unbelievable player, especially under pressure. She's a wonderful shot maker. Krista McCarville's one of the best in the world. One's offensive thinking, one's defensive thinking. Put it together, could be magical. Well, we're going to see the difference when you put an aggressive and a defensive player together. We'll see if it's enough to move to the podium. That's next. We always have really great games against Chris's team, and we've played them in the Scotties final. So we know that they're going to be gunning for us, and uh, they're going to come out and play really well, which we know we have to as well. They're obviously, you know, one of the best teams out there right now. And going into that game, we have to play a little bit better than them. We have to learn the ice and just get that little step up and edge on them.
the 2024 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is presented by Scotty's Facial Tissue. Unleash the Scotties. By Home Hardware. Here's how. By PointsBet, the official sports gaming partner of Curling Canada. And by BKT Tires, growing together. Well, lots of action tonight. Corinne Brown from BC will try to rebound after her loss last night, taking on K uh, Stacey Curtis, who did have the bye in the first round. Our feature game we've talked about. Selena Sturm, a very impressive last night with the victory, takes on PEI's DiCarlo. And Caitlin Laws wants to come back after that loss last night, but she's got her hands full with 22-year-old Skylar Ackerman, who did win yesterday. So let's meet the teams for our feature game tonight. Team Canada. Well, the new lead we look at is Kristen Karwacki, who came in last night at 88%. Very impressive. Shannon Burchard, Val Sweeting, and of course, the skip, Carrie Anerson. Northern Ontario has a bit of a five-person rotation, but it is Sarah Potts tonight at lead. Ashley Sipola at second, Kendra Lilly will sit, Andrea Kelly at third, and Krista McCarville, the skip. And these Meet the Teams are brought to you by Home Hardware. Here's how. And look at these numbers. So that is the draw to the button. So not only does Northern Ontario win, but 20.2 is not a bad number. You don't want to be any more than that because by the end of the week, if you're tied, you don't want to wind up leaving the competition because of it. Mine's good. Mine's good. Okay. It's close. Yeah, the okay. draw to the button. Mine's uh, nice. When the ice wasn't as good years ago, didn't make much difference at all. Mine's now the athletes good. are so good, the ice is so good, the rocks are so good. It makes a difference yep, in yep, this yep. game, but as Kathy points out, hard, hard, it could break a tie at the end of the week, and that's massive. Joanne, we saw them last night looking very impressive, but what is the key for Team Canada tonight? Well, they need to keep calm and carry on. I think that Carrie's intensity last night will continue to lead into the team here, but it's going to be a long week with lots of distractions for them. Also need to get back to the drawing board. This team is the best hitting team in the country, in my opinion, and when they're drawing, they're very hard to stop. Good toss. Okay. And Russ for Krista McCarville in Northern Ontario. Well, think offense, and I mentioned that in the opening where Andrew, I think, will think offense, which will help. But they're peeling out this end already. But the only way you're going to beat somebody like Team Canada, four-time champions, is to raise their degree of difficulty. It's that simple. And make the move at third with Andrea. Not that the other players can't make shots, but you make it at third. There's only a couple shots left for Canada to bail out. Keys to the game are brought to you by Purex Bathroom Tissue. It's pure comfort. When you play with Rachel, you, there was a couple years that you did this every single time. And up here, we didn't appreciate it. What, what, what was their theory? Yeah, these tables have turned on me, and I don't know why <laughs> yeah. I left the blank in the first end, Russ. <laughs> there, see? But you know what? When we were out there playing, if the team was going to offer up a blank for us, loved it because you get to see a bunch of hit lines, settle into the game, get that f initial frost off the ice, and even without throwing a bunch of draws, you kind of work it in, and then you're ready to go second end. I control. Okay. Hammer it even in. Yeah, these teams, they don't ever just have a a shot Whoa, where they go to sleep or they're, they're not lobbing Whoa, rocks up and down yeah. they're they're going to school with every single rock so while this may not be the most exciting thing to watch for us they're learning lots moving into the rest of the game Ten. Ten? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. make it up a little time with only one timeout that's not bad either yeah you talk about simple shots like this and all the players in the ice you just don't want to roll out on any of these open takeouts and give your opposition a free draw to further settle in. So these are important. We also call them the stats killers when you roll out. 50% <laughs> if you roll out, even yeah. though it's not that bad in the situation.
Interesting with this Northern Ontario team now having the five person lineup, the rotating front end. It'll be, I'm curious to see how it works out as the week goes on. Mm -hmm. I imagine being a rotating front end would be very difficult, sitting out, trying to find your, your rhythm and, and knowing that they've said towards the end of the week as they approach playoffs or into the playoffs, if they're in the mix, of course, they'll probably settle on a lineup and move forward with that. We saw Jennifer Jones last year with her five person team. They rotated all the way until the end, pretty much. Mm -hmm. That's not the plan for this team. Well, uh, you see Kendra Lilly sitting on the bench. So when Sarah plays, Sarah always plays lead. Um, Kendra always plays second, but it is Ashley that, in my opinion, has the toughest because when she comes in, she comes in at lead, she comes in at second, and they're very different skill sets. But it's high time teams do this. You're absolutely right. It, you know, a hockey team, if the goalie's not playing well, he doesn't get through the first game, let alone the... First, first period, uh, if you get to the playoffs of the Scott Turner my heart, you want to put your best line up there and, and you have to park that ego. Yeah, it's just one of those mental things you have to manage because you're playing in draw two of the Scotties right now and you're already thinking, oh, I don't want to struggle here or else I may not play in the playoffs. And that's not something that any four person team worries about. You struggle, you get your team, they rally around you, you move forward. So just an interesting mental battle that we'll be facing these players on Team McCarville. Okay, clean. Oh. It's not rolling, so 10, I got 10. Okay. So earlier today, That's after the afternoon draw, there was some looks because we had so many hogline violations. It was Carly Burgess that pointed out that when you're sliding over, there's nothing that happened on that side. And then if she takes it to the other side, so she resets the sensor and goes to the other side and look at how far away you are from the hog line before it goes. So what Curling Canada has done in the abundance of caution, what they found is that there are some metal rings under the ice. It could be from speed skating timing because they do that here. It could be just simple rebar. They don't want any infractions if they're not sure. So they have put pins in all the rocks to dismantle the battery and what will happen is if a team is concerned that an opponent is going over the hog line, you can go to the officials, they will stand on the hog line, but otherwise you will not whoa, see the sensors whoa, used for the rest of the Scotties. Whoa, whoa, yeah. close, yeah. 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 Hard, hard. Whoa. Couple more nose hits here, Russ, and they'll be out of the rings. There's the pin I talked about just in the front. That little loop that you see, that's where the lights flash. So they stick that in there and it prevents the lights from flashing because you also don't want it to be a distraction for mm -hmm. the players. Absolutely. Look at that, Kathy, 20, 21, yep. 22, 23, with the toughest fields, yes. arguably, we've ever had. You know, and everybody's talking Jones-Holman, and it, rightly so, but it's funny how this team's almost under the radar. They are, there's no question about it. And when you think that some of the conditions that they've won under in the bubble with no energy potential, and then also with few fans in Thunder Bay when they let the families in on the final day because of COVID still. They have gone through a lot as a team and had to really morph. And maybe that helps them in the situation they're in right now with Brianne being out of the lineup. They've gone through a lot. This is just another thing they have to deal with. Yeah, crisis, it either bands you together or it tears you apart and mm -hmm. early on here especially last night they seem tighter than ever on the ice okay gotta roll a little bit yeah krista was trying to roll and it's probably better she didn't because if team canada can't roll it somewhere it's a pretty easy blank Well, she's rolling on too. Yeah, much. she's trying to roll. Nine and a half. Nine five. Timing a bit five. off on that delivery. Yeah. She really had to. Oh, 
straighten her upper body to save her balance. Just leave it on. Good. Nine, eight, nine. Very nice. Good throw. Good throw. It should, you think, hold pretty soon. Yeah, you wonder nine. these peels out in the wings with the outturn, especially it's a sharp angle you come out of the hack with. The Peel yeah. weight, sometimes any That's outward motion, you gotta be worried about that rock floating. Do, yeah, sometimes you don't get yeah. the body out wide enough and have to flare it. Or you see super fresh ice first end and sometimes they grab and curl. It's True. not automatic here, Russ. No, not at all. Well, your conversion rate is when you're able to score two or more when you have hammer. And not a good performance in terms of conversion rate in their first game. And in theory, they haven't converted here, but they do keep the hammer. We'll be back with N2, live from Calgary. Well, we're into the second end, and we knew that it wouldn't last very long. Both teams choosing to run it up and down just to make sure that they're comfortable with the ice and stones. But Kerry Anderson is not prepared to waste any more time. And so the guard goes up, and that's a bit of a miscue. Kristen Karawaki lost the Saskatchewan final, played lead with Nancy Martin, lost to Skylar Ackerman. So 
for her, she has had a lot of reps this year. Recently. She has been the alternate for this team for many years, and so she's comfortable with the players. She's been playing a lot, so it makes a very good cohesive fit. Well, the rules in play here at the Scotties this year, mostly the same, but some changes. The five rock rule is in play, 10 ends, 38 minutes, one 60 second timeout. That is significant for a lot of teams. And the no tick rule, if you're touching the center line, you can no longer move it over, but that makes the precision necessary for the lead because if you aren't touching it, you can still tick it over and that is still an important tool for leads. So close to perfect for Shannon mm -hmm. Burchard. And that's one of sh the shots we've just gotten so used to seeing her connect on and make every single time. So oh, man. she won't be happy, even though she was so close to perfect here. Shooter stays in front, unfortunately. And it, it, it's, it's tough to explain it to people. That was what, half an inch, less than half an inch wider, and she makes that perfect. That was very close out of her hand. Wider than Sarah's. Wider than Sarah's. I think with those rule changes, Kathy, the, the one timeout. That affects, I think, both these teams quite a bit. I know Team Anderson loves to lean on Reed for others for his strategic input. And same thing with Rick Lang coaching Team McCarville. Whoops, this might have set up a three or. Well, Veronica Main, the fourth rock thrower for PEI, tried to play a double on her final stone. She just hit it on the nose. That's the yellow stone that's in the 12 foot. And so it is not shot, and that allows an opportunity for Selena Sturme to draw for her second point, looking for a bite of the eight foot. Well then. This Alberta team okay. able to convert Line's only great. once last night, but it was when really it mattered, now. and that was in the 10th. Line's great. But starting this game with a conversion, and she has impressed so far. Two nothing, Alberta. Yeah, if they were ever going to be nervous, it was last night for sure. You're playing you a great Caitlin Laws, full barn, home team, first Scotties. Well done. Yeah, if I get the guard. That overcurled that enough, Joanne, that it didn't drag onto that third one. I think they were playing the hit and roll all along, which, which is pretty good too, but I think you can dig this out of there. I thought they'd yep. try the triple. So we're seeing big finish at the end. You just got to make sure you have the right weight. Any kind of overthrow won't come up for them here. They'll play this tight. It's okay to rock on the guard. Really hard. It's down. Hard, 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 hard. Keep going, keep going. Hard, 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 hard. Roll it, Sarah. You got to roll it. Okay. Okay. Maybe just, just a bit of an underthrow there. Yeah, no wait. And that'll happen early ends, middle of You're the right, sheet. Right, Haven't right. seen quite as many rocks there. Sometimes it just takes a I few we, yeah. rocks to get up to speed. Okay. A huge opportunity for Caitlin Laws. You see the three already in the house. Skylar Ackerman wrecked on the guard on her first. And in attempting to remove a stone on her second, not only made contact with the guard, but she moved it into the house. So it wasn't only just two, all of a sudden it was three. And so Caitlin looking for paint for four. Jocelyn just cleaning it in gives you a pretty good sense that this is good, and it is. 
and four. That is going to be tough for the young team from Saskatchewan to see on the board after the first end. Another huge over curl. Andrea basically completely missed that rock. I think I need more. Huge on first air. You have to think that's going to be the struggle for this team from Northern Ontario. You have a new player, a very good player, but she doesn't play with them very much because they don't play on tour and they aren't able to practice because they don't live in the same province. Mm -hmm. So. I wouldn't be surprised to see some growing pains and some time before this pairing can really play to their full potential. Yeah, no question. Andrea will rarely overthrow stuff, and I think what's happened, that's exactly what happened there. They asked for a soft weight hit to hang around, and it just caught the pebble and died. Well, we talked about the quality of the coaching this year, and if you're looking for quality, you're looking at this man right here. Fareed Carruthers has brought so much to this team. He says they've given him so much back, and he's used some of the tools he learns from them on his team, and he will be representing Manitoba at the Briar. But so much confidence, and he's got such a demeanor about him that's so easy. And, of course, this week he's got extra work to deal with, with trying to keep the team together in the absence of Brianne. A little unlucky in that straight run back stuff that at least it's out slightly in the open. Also, a little bit more rings to work with. Mm -hmm. Four foot's open. I guess it's tough to not stay in the hole. That's in a good spot, actually. It is. We know this path. Yeah. I know that one too, but. I guess she, I don't really she's wanna... probably doing this unless she takes she a crack probably, at a double. I think she's going to probably clear the front of some sort so she doesn't make that intern draw. I'm okay with that. Yeah. If she does make that, you probably have either side. Yeah. The or You've got feeling. the luxury here the way this ends unfolded to uh, yeah. what do you want to do? What do you want McCarvel to do with her last one? Maybe it's a little slower. Uh, Joanne's talked about how crispy it is. Maybe get her out wide in a fresh path on an intern draw and get Stuart three. Maybe you wanted to play a hit yeah. in a straight spot. Like it's just hard to, like, I think that intern to the button the for thing. Team Northern yeah. Terror won't be easy. Got to go up pretty yeah. wide. So what are you thinking, like 14? Yeah, 14, 13, 8, 14, pretty close. So you can tap it buried, but you might set up a double, or you can kind of get to the inside and tap it almost dead on. Top four! Yep. Hey, you're a better path than mine! Top line four! T line, T. Whoa! T line! Green! T line! Green! Yes! Yes! yes. yes. T line! Top four! T line! T line! T line! Just get slightly to the inside, stop the double. Very nice. Might still be there. What do you think? I think I think it's still there, Russ. Maybe just might have to throw a lighter nice. weight to get a bit of curl Good past off. the guard. Uh, maybe a little less than yeah. three quarters. We need to heat it, hit it here. You see that or no? We can play the run if we want. I can do that. Be on the, you just be on the third. Yeah. I think the run did. Be the great part about that like shot. Here. Is the doubles really risky? It's tough, and if Andrea or if uh, Krista decides to play the come around, you've got that angle raise. Yeah, we've got a way at it if she makes a good one on the entrance side. Yep. Yeah. Well, as good as Reed Carruthers is as a coach, this Northern Ontario team is not likely to be well, out coached. Having enough, the great right? Rick Lang on the bench, played for Al Hackner, two-time Briar, no, two-time yes, world negative. champion. He yeah. is so committed to this team. He invests so much time and he believes in them so much. Very defensive. If anybody says, you know, they're not playing enough, he goes, but they're practicing harder than anyone. And so when you have that kind of support from the bench, what a difference it makes. And of course he played for Al Hackner. We'll see Al Hackner at the Briar, not as a player, but as a coach for Team Bono. Yeah, it's better. 
Oh, oh, turns wide open now. See, like it's hard for her now to. The theme's slightly over curling, eh? Yeah, they've been very close in their run backs. Just a little bit, perhaps a little uh, tight on slide because both of their over curls, yeah. it was hard all the way. Mm. You're always a little bit scared that they're going to run straight. You want to use your sweepers and involve them. Yep. I bet you in an end or two, they don't curl like that. Yeah, either leaves you that one or yeah, something anyways. Yeah. Quite do the job there with the ah, guard. Sure. That's a good spot. Yeah. Yeah. So this will be a little wider. I was yeah, doing like here. here early. This is where I was doing for them. So I have to go here. Yeah. I mean, I'm wondering, Joe, like if it's shades yeah. of Skylar Ackerman where she tried to play a shot like that and wound up ticking the close one in, even though yeah. Carrie's guard is not perfect. It yeah. does cover a chunk. Mm -hmm. It's a little wider. This is a bit of an educated 14, guess, though. Yeah. It's a new path. That's what I think. Yeah, yeah. 14. Yep. Okay. We need, uh, like, say, half of four. Okay. They're just biting four. Okay. Chris with those good rotation, which will help because it's going to be pretty crispy out here. And I would think if she throws less than 14 seconds, it's going to be light. It has to be a bit slower out here. And she doesn't have the advantage, Russ, of the draw to the button because she did throw it, but she threw it on the other side. So it's a different turn, different path. Oh, this is warping. You could see it moving over. And with that, that's a big steal of three for Team Canada as they continue to push Krista McCarville in Northern Ontario.
So for Team McCarville, you wonder, Joe, what would the conversation have been? Uh, probably just trying to learn the path and the ice. I mean, it looked like the weight was actually pretty close. It just crawled early, so a bit of thrower error, or was it just really warping in that spot? Not much more you can do in a situation like that. It's not ideal to give up the three, but you keep moving along here. It's a 10 end game. If they can score a two here, game on. It's a shame because it was, it was the speed was great. And, and you know, you think back, you go take a foot more ice, the most it's going to be is to steal a one. Another one going here. No, nope. no wait again. Andrea, go. Andrea, oh boy. Go, 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 Yep, keep going, Andrea, keep going. 14 8. Well, for Kristen Karwaki, she comes into this game, into this event, thinking that she's going to be an alternate and then finds out when she gets here that she, in fact, is going to be much more than that. But she's not just a throw-in alternate. When you look at Kristen's career at a U21 event, bronze medalist representing Manitoba, she was a U sport champion out of the University of Manitoba and an all-star lead. And then she has been the alternate for Team Anderson for the last three Scotties. That talks about comfort with the team, knows what they need and what they don't need. And so having somebody on the ice that knows who you are and what you like and don't like is a really big add. And look at those numbers from the first outing. She's here to play as well. I've always found playing whenever you have to incorporate someone new into the lineup, it actually it puts you on your best behavior because <laughs> honestly, the person coming in is going to give you their best and, and you want to to embrace them and have them come and perform to their potential. So it's kind of kick starting a little bit of a honeymoon period for a team that's been together for a really long time. And I wonder too, Joe, last night you talked about it in the opening about how Carrie was fired up, but they also looked like they were having fun. They were laughing at Kristen at one point because she went to go to the hack and they're like, no, no, we meet. We meet over here. And they were having some fun. And I think that that may have also loosened things up a little bit. Yeah, and it certainly helps to be in control in a game. So it, it'll be interesting to watch as the week progresses, as the pressure builds. It, I can imagine it'll be difficult to maintain, but they're really setting the tone very well to start this week. A really short come around has hurt Northern Ontario here, and they're going to have to struggle to get that rock off the pin. Line, double line. guarded here after this drops. It's tough with the five rock rule to for the room. team that wants yep. to yep. score the multiple with yep. their. Yep. Yep. Hammer, if their opposition gets theirs in a good spot early, you end up having to clear things off before you can use anything. Corinne Brown tried a hit and roll on her final stone. It's the one on the T line, and she got the nose, but she didn't get the roll inside. So that yellow stone on the forefoot belonging to Stacy Curtis is shot. And so this is the attempted chance for two. And Stacy, of course, taking to the ice for the very first time. She was one of the teams that had the bye in the pool. And so she's playing a team that's had a little bit of experience on the ice. No, really good audible, good communication to get that two points. And they are all tied up. Eleven points quarter. We see with the five rock row, we see way more stealing going on. They, you get those stack those three rocks down the middle. If you don't have a second or maybe a third that can make some double rocks disappear. Well, and to put that into context, last year they stole a total of 20 points all season. Really? Okay, sorry, that was my fault. Just jumped it. I kind of like that. I do too. So Sturme from Alberta continues to apply a lot of pressure. She has already been an early story, in my opinion. We thought in Alberta, first Scotty's appearance, it would be really tough, but she has put so much pressure on Veronica Main and this 
PEI team. Veronica, of course, throws last rock, but doesn't call the game. That's why it's under DiCarlo. And facing three. Can she get through the hole? She does. Oh. But what a bad break. Any more curl that kicks onto that side red and she scores. And slithers through. So that will be another two on the board for Alberta. Four nothing, playing three. Yeah. Team Northern Ontario had a double peel opportunity there, which opened everything up. Not that it was easy, but Andrea tried a tough shot through the hole just to take off one guard, which really doesn't help them. Block this hole if your team Here's Canada. Two three. Well done. Two three. Have, to tap have to go Halfway. above the high Close. guard. Halfway. Close. Whoa. Yep. Yes. Halfway. Yep. Yes. Halfway. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. Halfway. Yep. 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 Hard. No hard. No roll. No roll. No. 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 Good call. Dinging. Yeah. Good. Nice roll. Good. I knew we could. Why's a hair high? Well, for Skylar Ackerman, we showed the first end that did not go the way that they wanted to, but there is a hole to navigate through. It is Caitlin Laws and her team currently lying shot, trying to navigate the port. Opportunity for two, if she's able to do so. Skylar made it through the small port the first time, so did Caitlin. So maybe it's a big port. <laughs> ah, nicely done. There's two back on the board, and maybe for Skyler, they gave up four in the fifth end last night. Yep. They came back and won, so maybe she's just like, it's just a yep. matter of time. I'm used to this four. <laughs> Got them right where we want them. Okay. Huh. Good throw. Wait. Can it look more now? Yeah. I don't like the odds on the intern draw, Joanne. <laughs> that looks tricky. That's so you just keep guarding this up. Yeah, Carrie won't want this guard too close to the rings. Or double red or double red yellow. Probably nicer here now. than they wanted. Yeah, and you see that, Russ, they've thrown this path quite a few times, guarding this situation in the middle, and Carrie just said it's getting straighter, and, and you'll see that a bunch of rocks down the same line, they kind of build a bit of a track, especially with a bit of sweeping. Yeah, a little less friction is where's the pebble off. Yep. The other option here, I think what they're doing is the right call, try to get the darn thing off the button, but you could hit, come off your own and be in the rings, but then you'd see Gary Anderson go right around everything. So this is the right oh, move. They said three. Oh, yeah. they were sweeping it hard. So that's why I thought Big shot was here. Right. Oh, because I think they heard you say yes for a long time. Oh, long I, I just said line's good. Clean. Oh, okay. That it's an extremely good chance. It's four nothing. Hard, hard. Are we closing it? Really nice. Well, a great line call by Andrea as well. 
need it. Is that? Saying that it's ours there if we need it next. Yeah. It's a tighter one to come around, except for like, we roll, it's just come around, it's easier, right? Kira Anderson will want to be just top button here with as much distance as possible from that yellow guard, so the run back will be hard. Doesn't want to slide deep though and leave backing for a draw for Krista. I like it. Top, top, top four. four. Top four. Top four. Top four. Okay. We Brown. can wait. Top four. Hanging a line. T line. T line. Back four. Yeah. Okay, Kristen back draw. Four. Should cross. Back eight. Kristen Kristen draw. Back four. Go ahead. Coming the way. Coming Line's getting good. Line perfect. Hard. Yep. Go, 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 go. Hard. That slowed Hard. down. They were yelling back for her one time back eight. Probably can't see much. I'm going to have to run it in the eye. Yeah. Right like nose hit. Nose hit. Yeah. yeah. Same thing. Do you see how a rock is line? running sometimes? Yeah, that was running, it. running, running. Wasn't yeah. curling at all. And sometimes as a sweeper, you think, well, this has to be heavy. Right. And as soon as it started to curl, all the weight came off. 15-5. Mm -hmm. And it's top eight. Same way. Top eight. And we still a mission accomplished yeah. for Team Canada. Got the force. Yeah. Wow, that's a little time. It's a cannon! <laughs> yeah. yeah, that slowed down in a hurry. You got like a hair loss. Krista McCarville's shots tonight have not been easy. Mm -hmm. So far. Line could be wonderful here, but you have to guarantee whoa, you whoa, make some noise whoa. here. Well, and as you said, yeah. Russ, it would have been nice for a blank, but at this point and after yeah. this end, taking one, fighting your way back.
and it will be a second straight Canadian championship. Three straight Canadian championship, Kerry Anderson. And it is a fab four in a row for Team Canada. And you can't say enough about this team. And look at those numbers. This is their winning percentage over a four-year period. Tops all other teams. And those are some very big numbers. And so when we talk about this week, we talk about Jennifer Jones retiring. We talk about a lot of people and Holman. We haven't talked enough about no. Carrie Anderson. No question. You know, Joanna and I were talking about it yesterday that, you know, you've got three wild cards. You've got Team Canada. The fields at the Scotties, the Briar are so much tougher. And she wins nearly 90% of her games. Amazing. This team seems to hit another level at the Scotties, yeah. and it's funny leading into this event, and prior to all the turmoil that this team is now currently going through, we, we weren't talking about them a lot. Not that they've had a bad year, no. just to get used to seeing them in, in the mm -hmm. finals every week at all their events on tour, and they, they haven't quite done that this year. We, we've talked for years, too, when we go to the world and don't perform well, and one of the reasons is all the other countries are really good. But you would love to have, we've talked, you know, I, I know we talked after we had our Olympics, that there wasn't enough time to prepare. You went through that, too. Well, this team gets all winter to prepare because they already know they're in it. Yeah, and they, they played a light schedule last year and had a great bond spiel season. So they played another light schedule this year not so great bond spiel season. So sometimes that can play a little bit into the team and, and getting going, but I mean, they've gone with what's worked for them in the past. And, and if you can disconnect from those results and disconnect from the storylines that we're talking about, I mean, they've got to be feeling pretty good coming into this event, having had all that training time. Oh, look at that winning record, 30 and two uh, I think I got all there. round Happy robin record, 17 in a row in a Scotty's field and carries her recently. So we've seen the better and better teams and more better teams added to the Scotties and they have risen above. It, it, truly amazing. It is. You can have a good round robin, but you get to the playoffs, you're playing Jones, you're playing Holman, you know, you're, you're playing McCarvel, you're those are tough teams to win 88% of the time against. Need something to happen here pretty soon or run back and kill something. A brilliant shot making on the front end for Team Canada this end. Yeah, once you've got the front end players all over the top of the house. Yeah, they're in a better spot to double. How do you like? Yeah. How greedy do you want to be? Yeah, Other games out here. Run. Corinne Brown struggling a bit with draw weight, had an it's opportunity tough. to lie three and did not make it, but does take that extra two, and so a 4 yeah. 2 lead. We Alberta Selena Sturme absolutely can, cruising and putting a lot of pressure ball. against her opponent, a 4 0 lead. And it is Caitlin Laws yes. with that big four and one, and we saw Ackerman okay. score the two back, and, but she does keep a two-point lead. Okay. So I'm just gonna give you a foot less. Okay. Yeah. Tell Team Canada is feeling comfortable with the ice. They're opting <laughs> to really put the pressure on and play another draw. They could peel the front being up two with Hammer. Scoring one, scoring two in this end would be great, but they want to take full control of the game here. I love what Shannon said too. If I can't get both of them, you know, with a high degree of percentage, why do it? Eight ender watch here, Kathy. <laughs> The only well, problem is the all those red ones. rocks yeah. at the top of the house are all staggered and overlapped. Mm -hmm. If Marvel can yeah, sink one in here, yeah. it's really yeah. tricky to get rid of. No question. Yeah. This is that intern that overcurled for Krista in the second end. Let's see where they put the broom. That's kind of more where Krista was that first yeah. one. Yeah. Which came down a bit, eh? Curled well, harder than we, we were thinking 14-ish. Yeah. yeah. A 14 with PK.
I'm not sure this is enough ice for us yeah, with how yeah. hard Krista's curls. That's curled. exactly what I was thinking, because if Krista gets by, she like still that. ticks those red ones. Yeah, they got to be well off the center line to get around. Big rotation. Great communications with the sweepers. We heard her saying me, 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 and that's just about not stepping on each other and wind up burning the stone. Also wanting to make sure that she got the curl. What a beautiful shot at the right time. Look at that, fully buried around a rock top eight foot. <laughs> that's wild. Of the top one. Just sat there. Yeah. I like my throw. Can I throw? The out turn one. The out turn one or yeah, the in off, off her own, right? That's what she's got. We gotta guard it. Okay, or the in off, off her own, no? No. This side. Make the same? Like I, the same I, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, 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 I think so. Double peels made. The red one's going to go awfully close to the yellow corner guard, which might cause that red Northern Ontario. Sorry, the red, the Canadian Rock uh, roll into the rings here. Missed it. Okay. Okay. Oh. You run anything okay. with my first. Okay, don't worry. Fuck. What a wild end, eh? Let's yeah, I, the, very surprising out. miss from Val. Yeah. yeah. I thought your first one had it, but it must have just like because they and were kind of That's the first like miss this, by Team Canada's yeah. back end this game. Not, not with weight, no. but to tap it for her one. She, so I think she can hit that. She's definitely moving this around, though. Yeah, she could probably shoot enough she, weight to get that yeah. gone. She can That's hit that. Like guarding this, yeah, still? I think so. But I almost think, like, not give her something to run in. Like, we yeah. don't oh, even yeah. want a tight one. In case you want to be high. Yeah. yeah. Great point with the big finish late. These high guards almost aren't even in play to no. make the red onto yellow yeah. tap. If you're on the guard, you would overcurl by a mile. The, the, yeah, absolutely. You only have to get the yellow out about another three feet. Backline weight would make that shot. You don't want this guard too tight to the rings either, though, because you know right. a run back Throw would be available. a little available. bit of rotation on this. Yeah. Do we just what? send this in? No. To the house? Like only if I, if I hit that much, yeah. Oh. But okay. we're hitting, huh? Okay. And then hope to jiggle something? Yeah, I think okay. so. Which one is she throwing first? The five? Uh, two. two. The okay. idea here is Let's to get rid of this front, but they might yeah. possibly get extremely lucky. If you get red, red properly, it's going to be close to coming straight back. If that ever happened, 
Yeah, and even if it doesn't connect to the yellow shot stone back button, just to rearrange those reds, you could open up a bunch of ways to get a shot and give yourself an opportunity for a multiple score if you're Team Canada. Great call. Didn't open much up. Okay. That's what Andrea brings to this team, Kathy. We touched on it in the opening. Now she missed a wide open hit. Uh, the one end, I'm, I'm not sure why. What happened to it? But it was a complete error. But that could be a game saver. That that uh, one wonderful intern draw. Well, and I think that Andrea, having skipped for such a long time. She really, Same when she does miss, she yeah, misses yeah, the right way so really often, and she knows that so what she way. wants to leave for Krista is what she would yeah. want to be left with. Same weight's good. I wonder if you ever would have been tempted if you're McCarville to throw an intern draw, sit two. Sink <laughs> another one. You, the way it curls, absolutely. It's a good idea. Hey, a I think Always they're still down. concerned about the soft weight tap. And that would be for a bundle. Good. Right. Safe call here. Stay close, yeah, closer to don't, don't no, want to. Let She's it gonna stop run now for long. Half on its own. We want it super long. Okay. Super Sit. long. And the super Sit. long, Good. such a testament to Carrie Anderson's upweight ability, eh, Joe? Oh yeah, and it's I almost think we should have been covered. It's her bread and butter, and, and especially when it's for a big score, just the way she can dial in on that. Yeah. Should leave. Um, like seven eighths high? Yeah. So double run. Yeah. Huge risk. Okay. Even though we're running the yellow back like into it. Back. You could always. We talked about it this afternoon. For shots like this, if you look at where you have to hit rocks and move them, okay, it's a lot. But for Carrie Anderson, just and looking to hit seven, eight, a specific right, inch of the first it's rock, and the cold. rest is all up to Val Sweeting to call so the sweepers can hit it at that precise point. Yeah, it's all your snooker skills after that, isn't it? It's just get the first one going the right way. You like that broom, Shannon? You like that broom? Yep. I like it. An end that was all Team Anderson until a wonderful draw by Andrea Kelly. Now trying to yes, find yes, a way to yes. get rid of it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And will not, and so that one, that one shot made by the third stone goes on the board, and we now have a game that is within one.
Now we go back to that last end. We talked about whether the peels by Team Canada might have made a difference earlier. Those two long stones that wound up getting them into trouble, but you can't do that without talking about Andrea Kelly as an asset to this team rush. You talked about that as a key when we started this whole game. But for Team Canada, they still have that edge. They have that one point advantage and last rock. And you wonder, Joe, if they went a little bit hard last end at just keep wrapping and wrapping without consideration for the guards. Yeah, and I didn't hate the call to, to sit for. It's just what ended up happening was the draw was a little bit light and a little over curled hooked a bunch of red rocks top of the rings and that was just the stagger was a disaster for team canada once the draw was made yeah once they decided to draw they had to keep that fourth rock open take away that intern draw saw those numbers for kristen at 88 percent that was yesterday if you have a lead that is consistently going to throw 88 percent you're going to be set up pretty well she won't be happy with her first one this end, though, Joanne. Or, or, or her second one. Yeah, then. right. It, it's really a guard, that first one. Yeah, the second one overcurled. The speed was close. And that'll be learning points, too, for Team Anderson. Obviously, she's been a member of the team well, and, and in the mix, but hasn't well, thrown no, a ton no. at Carey's broom. Well, you saw those numbers for Ashley, and... In my opinion, she's got the toughest job on this team. You either are sitting or you're playing lead or you're playing second. And those are three different positions. The sitting is obviously the easiest. <laughs> I got 100% of that. But it is, it's tough. You go in with a very different mental set every time you step to the ice. It's very difficult. Very nice. Well, some huge numbers from Shannon. We expect nothing less. She is a very special player and doesn't understand how you don't win when you come to this event because every time she has, she has. Nobody's ever explained that to her, eh? <laughs> halfway ish. Hi, okay. I used to be tight halfway. See, it's got to run out here for a while. Really close on the run back, but again, those are shots that Shannon, they, she turned those into 85, 90% shots for herself for a while there and just not quite connecting as often as I'm used to seeing mm -hmm. this year for her. Um, I talked to Reed Carruthers leading into this event and he said that the team made some technical tweaks this season in order to, to, to get themselves a little bit more consistent and whenever you make a technical change, sometimes it can take oh, some forever. time for it to, to feel comfortable enough and, and to see that performance come back. Well, in this no, BC no, Newfoundland no, Labrador no. game, Stacey Curtis had a little bit of a ping, ping pong sort of uh, <laughs> effect on her first one. Ticked one, ticked one, ticked one. And when the dust cleared, her rock was going out and it was all Corinne Brown. And so now trying to use a corner guard to move it yes! into the house for the shot. Yes! 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 It's close. Yes! Oh. Very nice. That is a great curling shot. This is going to slide even better. Yeah, like You're this. You're just as far out. Yeah. Like 14, 14, two. Yeah. yeah. Shannon yeah. connected with one yellow rock in the rings, but wasn't able to connect with both. So opportunity here from a car ball to freeze one right on the pin. Andrea seems dialed into her draw weight after last end. You have to imagine that'd be yeah. hard for her after skipping for so long. Light good! Gotta go! Room, room! Light good! Gotta go! Gotta go! Line's gotta go. really good! Hard, guys! Line's great! Hard! Hard, 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 hard. Here. Go, go, go. Keep going. Tuck it, tuck it, tuck it. Go, go, go. It's not where they wanted that one. Well, she's a little bit light on that one, but last end we go back to what is a key shot. Joe, talk us through Andrea Kelly's. Yeah, and 
We mentioned that the leave from Team Canada was really unfortunate with all the stagger in the front of the rings, but this is not an easy shot. Kristen McCarville gave up the big steal in the second end because her rock curled so much here. They went to school on it. She's perfect weight, really well swept to manage it to get fully buried around a rock that's in the top of the eight foot. That was the difference in the fourth end. The key shot is brought to you by BKT Tires, growing together. Get the shooter. Andrew's in turn, she uh, has the rock a little left of the line of delivery, just a hair. Most people have it the opposite way. And her internal curl. In New Brunswick, yep. that's golden. Here, maybe not. Hard! Ten five! Really hard! Hard for peace! There it goes hard. again. Remember, the wide open hit she hard. missed was an intern. Oh, hard! Yes! Hard! 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 hard. <laughs> that's to your point. Not enough reps. You know, that's enough ice for Krista McCarvel, but not for Andrew Kelly. A little soft, maybe weight-wise. Into the broom. Yeah, I just feel like it's a little soft. And, and for those that don't that play cold? on different surfaces, Not, I missed that's it. what you okay. did in New Brunswick. You had to throw it like that to get any results. Soft release, meaning a slightly inward motion. Yeah, and sometimes depending on the ice surface, it, that plays perfectly. But, mm. but here we're just seeing big swing. It seems mm. like it's very release sensitive, yeah. which you love as a player because yeah. you get rewarded for yeah. good technical throws. Well, they called that right out of Val's hands. You saw some great numbers. That is typical of Val at a Scotty's. I think she was tight on the word go. Well, Anderson has had some success against both of the players at the back end. In 2022, she beat Andrea Kelly in the semifinal, and then she took down Krista McCarville in the final. So you have to feel a sense of comfort. And for Krista and Andrea, they're probably like you again. Flashing by mile, but get the other one. You're sitting two if you're Northern Ontario. Would love to put a guard up or something and put some pressure on, like but. Andrea's, yeah. yeah. Oh, and yeah. she kind of got it going a little, so I think I like would say 10. It was like a 10 I think this seven, is a smart ten. call here, yeah. Russ. Okay. Yeah, it so is. 10. I guess you could guard, but where do you, where do you put the guard? That's the thing, it's, yeah. you're not able to guard everything. Usual from okay. both uh, back and players from Northern Ontario here. Well, it's just so interesting, right? Andrea didn't like how she threw hers, so you didn't quite get a read on the spot. And yes. then maybe Krista did the same thing as Andrea, or maybe just that spot's really moving with the lighter weight. At the front end, say it was underthrown both of them, but because uh, with those two deliveries, you wouldn't be that far off. And Andrea's will curl more, but I didn't expect Krista to do that. Maybe a little lack of speed. The rocks were uh, brushed up, sharpened, uh, sanded, I should say, at the start of the competition. This is only third draw. You might want to be throwing maybe some nine and a halfs or something instead of 11 and a half. Tricky double, and to, to, the double can be made, but can you stay? Probably no chance to stay. Very, very difficult with all that rotation coming off those two, but well done. Ah, shoot. Yeah, it's tough to stay. Yeah. 
there. Well, more pressure as soon as it gets off for line. Veronica Mains in this end. The stone that is shot behind the guard is the last stone okay, thrown by Selena Sturme, already lying two. She used the guard to bury, and so this is not only a draw, she has to navigate the port and has to be full four against three. Roll like an eight. Yep. Try to roll, roll our shoes yep. on. You have to be so close on weight out of your hand on these because if the sweepers have to jump it for weight, they can straighten it right out. She's 50% on her draws so far. So the degree of difficulty and the line. Trying to make it move a little bit and it will not. There's a steal of three for Alberta, seven nothing at the break. Over curl again. Krista made it. It was a tough shot. It was going to be tricky to hang around, but it, it curled all the way down. These are the games you mentioned it earlier, Joanne. It, it should start to straighten out a little bit. And when the team, the whole team's a little bit narrow, all of a sudden the fifth end break, somebody says, let's throw them harder, or let's take more ice, and the ice starts to straighten out. You're missing them the other way. And with that throw through, we will move on to the break with that slight edge for Team Canada and the hammer for the second half. The 2024 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is presented by Kruger Products, the softest and strongest supporters for over 40 years. By New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada. By Montana's Barbecue and Bar, Canada's home for barbecue and by PointsBet, the official sports gaming partner of Curling Canada. Well, we expected that this would be a close game, and you can see that this is Reed is talking to them. Draw weight is fine, but some of the shots maybe not we, what we expect. He walks through the ice with them. Joe, let's look at the numbers after five. Yeah, what stands out so far in this game is McCarvel wrecking on that draw, giving up that three in the second end, followed by the fourth end, big steal of one when Andrew Kelly made a nice come around with her in turn. Key comparisons, though, you're looking at Kira Anderson struggling with her hits, 65%, and Krista's going to want to improve on her draws. 
Well, these numbers after five are brought to you by PointsBet, the official sports gaming partner of Curling Canada. And there's Rick Lang. Krista's like, I don't understand what it's doing. He'll tell you. He's got lots of help for you, Krista. Oh, Calgary at night is beautiful. It's beautiful during the day as well. We are so happy to have our Scotties Tournament of Hearts back here in Calgary after a long break away from having fans back in the building. Lots of activity going on on the ice. So we look at Corinne Brown finding the field. It has been a struggle with draw weight. Stacey Curtis had the bye, so figuring it out. We know about our feature game. Selena Sturme, 90%. This is, woman is playing like a veteran and leaving such difficult shots for PEI. Manitoba Law has got off to a quick start, but that no-quit Saskatchewan has pulled this game within one and frustrating Manitoba's Laws. There it goes now. One more. So Canada in control if you there. consider one up and with hammer, but do you feel, Joe, nice like sweet. Team okay, Canada is that. playing okay. like a team in control of this game? Not at this point. The last two ends, Kathy, Northern Ontario, I mean, they put lots of pressure on them in the fourth end. Last end, Andrea Kelly had a chance on her first to really seal the deal, go top button around the guards. Her miss and then a couple open hit misses obviously let Team Canada off the hook, but they've been in some trouble. And Rusty, the frustration was evident on Krista's face as she talked to Rick Lang at the break. You're, you've been a coach so many times. You're Rick Lang. What do you say to Krista? Well, you know, they're not, they, don't, they haven't brought their A game against the A team in the event, and they're only one down, so, it, you know, you can't uh, start the car and leave yet. It's, it's, it's get the broom in the right spot. I don't think they were reading the ice right, and, and they're certainly not throwing enough weight in certain spots for the hits. So they've got to make a decision on what weight they're going to throw from now on. Is Rick the right guy? For that, for that speech, yep. absolutely. Rick, uh, you know, he's a national coach. Yep, yep, uh, you know, he's yep. not only yep, played with the great Al yep, Hockner and been there, done that, but uh, whoa, he's, he's whoa, just got a way about him. You know, he's, he's feisty. He wants to win. Know, Don't get me wrong, but uh, he, he's, he can sell it in a lot of different directions. Very good. Well, like right around now. I would go out on a limb and say it's the best coaching field we've ever had. I, I agree. It's you look at the bench and you look at someone like Rick. You talked about his national coach experience. We've talked about what makes some of these teams have such great coaches is that the coaches know what it's like to play in a nationals, to win a nationals, to go to a world. You can't get any pre better preparation than that. Where are we? No, no. All around it. Especially for a coach that's played 
over the course of your career, you're going to go through all of the scenarios, all the emotions, and it's so much easier when you're struggling in a moment if someone can relate to that exact feeling. Well said. They were playing the freeze, I believe. Yeah. Called the audible, though, and that's that's a sign of a, of a good team that's played together for a while. Still get something out of the shot. That, I think it's just a little bit firm and doesn't time. take that break. Clean, clean. Get throw. I would like to see the team plan for both of these teams and how they differ. So for someone like Krista McCarville, just the amount that they play, the Olympics may not be a priority for them. On the other hand, you look at a team like Kerry Anderson, who scheduled last year in the first year was very light. It got a little bit more. And I think that one of the most important things beyond winning the Scotties and going to the Worlds in Sydney this year is the team that wins is guaranteed a spot in the pre-trials. And if they do better than sixth at the Worlds, they will be the first team in the Canadian curling trials in 2025. How big of a deal is that, Joe, to qualify early? Oh, it's it's huge. Then you can plan the next uh, year and a half all, all in that direction and don't have to worry at all about your schedule. You see a surprising miss from Ashley Sippel, a flash in the weeds there. All of ours have been down. Yeah. yeah, and just from Sarah, it's hard. They're just having a hard time getting yeah. a read. Please, it's okay to have misses yeah. Yeah. and yeah. misses whoa, on easy whoa, shots. You, you whoa, hate it when please, it happens, yeah. but you have to whoa, be able to learn from whoa, it. And when the throws yeah. are a bit different, yeah. the weights aren't yeah. in the right range, Hi. you're not able to puzzle out the whoa, ice whoa, when there's too whoa, many whoa. variables to take into account. Exactly. You need some doubles here now. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Okay. The only problem with this, and somebody mentioned it, if if they throw it that hard, eight and a half for Andrea, Russell, for you make the double, you're probably rolling it's out. Eight half, not eight and Team Canada eight splits and half, the rings, okay, and there goes your peel. chance. Not peel. Okay. You could, at this point, nose it and make the double that way. Turn again. Really hard. Whoa, go the other way. Whoa. Whoa. Yes, yes, yes. 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 hard for the other way. Nine six. Just a bit of weight control like issues. The call yeah. was for eight and a half. Nine six is a full second right less. That's that's going to run differently. A lot different. Every intern for Andrea. I think if she had the weight side. there, though, yes, it would yes. run just fine, right? Yes. Low risk end here for Team Canada. A lot of easy Get shots. Away. Just keep hanging around here. I always like hitting the top one this early in the end. You know, you hit it, roll on top, and you might get an error to your opponent. You might roll right over to that other one. But hitting the back one, the only good thing that can happen here is if you roll perfect behind that other red. Ten and a half. That was a Whoa. crisp release. That that should hang. Close. Mm -hmm. That's a good effort. Same way. You got it. I sense a lot of frustration in Team Northern Ontario yeah. right now. Yes. Yes. What's that? I, I knew I had to throw a good and positive. Yeah, you threw a positive. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I feel like when I'm down too much, I feel like I'm so close to the 
don't want much weight here because you can't see a lot of this thing. You'd love to hang around. Yeah, roll away, don't group the stones. Double now, and then, even if it's made, you're rolling right out of play, and it gives Anderson a chance to split the rings. But but they need to make a double at some point. There's only two tries left. You're not gonna stay. Perfect weights. Okay. Okay. Let's make this double. Like nine and a half, or uh, like an eight. eight. You got it, Krista. Let's make it. Turn around. Good shot. Yeah, good sweep. Yeah. <gasps> Why is it such a struggle? Oh, right. <laughs> there you go. That tells you everything. That's so funny, though, yeah. because they just made the shot they called. Yeah, true. <laughs> We've all been there, eh? Yes. Yeah. Yep. This starts to feel uphill for everything. It's like being in the booth of Kathy Joe. Hey, I can hear you. <laughs> I haven't seen much to the wings yet for us. You nope. assume by the sixth end, everything's worn in quite nicely. They'd love for this to be even. Don't want to leave any kind of cross host double opportunity. It's interesting, Joe. I'm just going to go back to the comment we heard under somebody's breath about everything's a struggle. And yet you're playing the best team, arguably, in the field as defending champion. The score is 3 2. Like you are not, if you're down 10 5, then it's a struggle. But that just tells you how that little bit off they feel, that they're just not getting the results that they need. And maybe this speaks to having come in without all of the reps. We talk about that and we don't want to beat them up because this is what they do. But gameplay to me is different than practice. Yeah, it definitely is. And the fact that they don't get to tour as much and play in as many of those high pressure moments finding and figuring out how each player digs themselves out of that mindset. I mean, you can't tell yourself a story mid-game. Sure, oh God. some open hits have been missed. There's been some, like some, some shots like that, yeah. that didn't work out the way they expected it to, but you still got half a game left. Absolutely. <laughs> Trying to roll anywhere or just, just nose? Okay. Yeah, there's a lot yeah, to be yeah, shot rocker, as simple as it sounds, and you never know. Horses carry to hang around with not a lot of paint at the back of the rings. It's a veteran call too. And most teams want to draw the button, and and you might for certain reasons to get your feel if you need it later. But they want to here. They've just played it. Why not let that athlete just recreate what you just did 10 seconds ago? Maybe for Skipper, check in with her rocks late in the game. Double check that they're running exactly as she wants them to. Well, for Carrie Anderson and her team, it's an opportunity with a draw to the paint to really widen the gap. She has not missed a draw tonight. Top floor, Tempe! Top floor, Tempe! I think you gotta go. Just curled earlier! Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go! Gotta go! Gotta go. Gotta go. Kristen Karwaki, Shannon Burchard. Being cheered on by Kerry, but no mistake, no doubt. And there is your two. Team Canada takes a 5-2 lead at the conclusion of six.
This handsome young man is Luke Gallant, the nine-month-old son of Jocelyn Peterman and Brett Gallant. Today, Luke is a healthy, happy baby, but it didn't start out that way. Last May, when his mom Jocelyn gave birth, there were complications. Luke was having trouble breathing and eating. His blood sugar was very low. His life was in danger. Luke entered the neonatal intensive care unit at Foothills Medical Center here in Calgary, and the process of saving his life began. Thanks to the incredible people at Foothills and because of the life-saving equipment they had on hand, young Luke survived, and after a few weeks was finally able to go home with his proud parents. If you've ever wondered why the Sandra Schmerler Foundation is so important and why your donations mean so very much, well, that smile says it all. Luke is here this week cheering on his mom, and by the looks of it, he's ready to get out there on the ice himself. And they are setting up for tomorrow. The first Sunday of the Scotties Tournament of Hearts is always Sandra Schmirler Day, and that's the number that we'll be asking you to call to make any kind of donation that you are able to. And there's Jocelyn. Well, she knows firsthand. You don't think when you are expecting a baby that you may need services, but what a blessing to find that there is. And Brett looks on at Jocelyn and how nice for them not to be worried about their baby and his health. Should be worried about his popcorn, though, I'll tell you yeah. that. It's getting stolen. to make that yeah. yellow go oh, yeah. away. But it feel, it's going to feel like that's, more, eh? We'll yeah. see. That's the difference between the good and the great players. The yeah. ones that can dial in that just enough weight to kill a rock, they can chase anything. Well, for Caitlin Laws, this is a very sharp I angle, but no. was lying three at one point, but there was one pesky Saskatchewan stone in there, and all of a sudden now she's being forced, does not want to be forced to one, so taking on this sharp double, looking for two. If you, if you miss this, you have to miss it narrow. Hit and stay, get your one. You're still two up. You cannot miss this wide. Horn, girl! Hard, you gotta go. Girl! Hard! Hard! Hard. You saw, I think, on release for us, yeah. that little yeah. bit of a pop back. It will run on the center line. Yeah. And she did miss the wrong way, as you mentioned. That's a steal of one. And after being down four after one, this young Saskatchewan team has tied the game. Kudos to Team Saskatchewan. Like to give up four right off the bat. And they tied it up. Here now. Ah, shoot. Yeah, I have some of it now. Just any more curl. It is a noisy yeah, building. You can't always hear because what we hear are the microphones for the players, but there is a lot of people and movement and okay. this conversation up and down the ice is Back really eight. difficult. Okay. 
didn't. Uh, were they trying to freeze to that white one? I think the call was the freeze. Because now there's a double. Yeah, and they, they talked about maybe talking about it. Mm -hmm. Probably would have been a good idea. You don't want to burn your clock, but. I assume they're freezing to the right hand one or, or like tap it and roll buried. The worry was they'd leave some sort of double yes. for Team Anderson. Yeah. They kind of a are. must score a multiple in this end here mm -hmm. for us for Team Northern Ontario. Though that would have been worth talking about, I think. Yeah, you had to freeze to the other red. Yep, 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 yep. Well, oh, well yeah. can make this too. Just yeah. hit it really thin. Hard, hard, hard. hard. Oh, you got it. Hard. hard. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. okay. It's pretty thin. A little hit and flop off that one. Tap that yeah. back. Yeah. Tap it back here. Back Hello, low. friend. That's Stay the back, back of the line. head of Cheryl Bernard. <laughs> <laughs> Cheryl's here as the co-chair uh, and obviously a curling fan Woo. for the back Special line. Olympic Winter Good Games. Course. And she is with some ambassadors. Hello. We miss you. And there are some of the Special Olympic ambassadors. With medals. Whoa, close, whoa. Just through. Close. Yeah, back line. I think whoa, you can whoa, get whoa, close whoa, enough whoa, to the guard whoa. to get this and not kill your own yellow. Girl, and the girl, other yellow girl, dead girl, buried. Girl, 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 girl. Good shot. Nice. Good shot. What the best you could do. I think so. That's a good we shot. Trying the, the goal. I think we were throwing hard. And With a couple long like? guards, that yellow on yeah. the right is sunk. It's buried. You take on the double. Do we give that a go? Yeah. yeah. Like it might jam here. Okay. Yeah, just hope it spins. Okay, uh, right here. Pop is very close. We've seen a few inside out peels run straighter yes. than expected here. Straight jam here now. That was fortunate. The skipper knew it though. She yelled, Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Throw them out. Good. Yeah, this will curl. Any more of that left red, and the yellow stays. Sorry. They need to have a double sit three. Ten and a half. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Looking for yes. the hit and roll here. Yes. Is, uh, a lot of her interns are either a little soft release or down, and definitely the down. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm never light, but tonight I am. <sighs> and go and call time. Yeah, we only have one now, but Why? we can. We, there's only one period now. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the teams so are given a handbook. Like yeah, it's just very like it. tricky. Yeah. yeah. Like, do we yeah, ever just go here? Uh, I don't like. We could. What? And if you went here, then I guess they have three in, which is a little scary. My first thought was go at like just throw it hard, and you'll roll for shot. Yeah. Yeah, I could do that. Okay. Just. There. Just like a hair high. There's hair high. A really yeah. important teaching point, you I think, Joanne, is, is okay. Andrea did not get the result she wanted, but she hit and stayed. She's controlling the front. How do you get this thing out of here? Because the two reds are in the wrong spot at the deep end. It's going to be hard to thread the Here's needle like here for this. Carrie like Anderson if she doesn't. And then try and roll in for a second. Team Merlin yeah. Chair is probably hitting to sit three. 
Yeah, exactly. You, you make the roll but go too far, and all of a sudden your opposition's up. Yeah. You're still making them think here, and this is this is not easy. Nope. You got it. the front end saying yeah, uh, maybe the, the come yeah. around is, uh, should be talked about. What do you think, Joanne? I like the come around a I lot. I do too. Now you can miss it, obviously, but this this the most you're ever going to get here is two if you're lucky. Just, just come around, anything touching eight foot to just ahead of that yellow. Got a window to throw to. Got to get a piece under. I guess they feel they can roll buried back yeah, eight here, like maybe. Yeah, there's there's space to roll too. Yeah. I just I, yeah, yeah. The yeah. precision hitting seems to be a challenge. I guess we could roll under, but then she might freeze us. So but we're just sorry. What are we doing? That's right? the point. I think that's part of strategy. Is what, what's way. working okay. today? Yeah. What's not working today? Ten. You can get there with the come around. You can get there with the hit and roll. I think the hit like and roll's this. harder today. They might be rolling away, Russ. I heard if they go under, then Canada will freeze. They might just be looking for a simple two all of a sudden here. Yeah. Patient. Solid. I think it here's solid. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. No. Hard, Dara. Hard, Dara. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh, boy. Just missed the line call there. Good day ever. Just a little off bay, and then that was solid. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's okay, almost like Andrew's selling them yeah. a little light. But I want to say for yeah. the Skipper's selling them a little heavy, and they oh. just can't. Oh. I think Andrew thought that was going to roll a couple of feet. Yeah. It was I, so I much harder. Yeah. No, I think oh, it's oh, because I knew that we were First thing you have to do if you're the line caller is figure out what speed's coming at you. Otherwise, but you have no hope of predicting oh, yeah, well, where that thing's going to go. It, but yeah, no, okay. I'm so yeah. Great chance here to shut down the end here. Mm. That's the other reason I come around made some sense. If you get it buried, tucked, to hook it around top eight, how do you freeze it if you're Gary Anderson? the grinding the center line path as the game wears on yeah no panic out of Carrie's hand on not that. at they, all they thought close and, and you never want to jump a rock if you think it's close and that came up well lighter than expected like the kick just in that it's all right and there's a good comment so she liked the kick just didn't put that little bit of a finish on it and so for the brushers thought it was all right but it definitely came down and for Krista McCarvel even though her first shot wasn't exactly what she wanted, an opportunity for two. A little wider area than we just watched uh, Carrie Anderson throw. And that could fool you. This will be quicker. Mine's good. Mine's good. You're in the middle. Mine's good. Middle pass. There it goes. There it goes. Ashley Slipper. Oh, yeah. Sarah Potts. Thought she had lots of weight. Sorry. And there is your first conversion in seven tries for Team Northern Ontario. Two points puts this game back really tight within one, but Carrie Anderson will have hammer in eight.
Well, the deuce on the board for Northern Ontario will give them a bit of a lift, but it almost felt like it came out of nowhere, Russ. Yeah, it really, it really did. They, they, they had chances to maybe even get the three, but they played the defensive call, which is just a, a Carvel Sally. That's what she likes to do, but they missed it. They missed it badly, and uh, well played freeze by Team Canada would have been a force to one, but they got their deuce. Yeah, I it was left, and it, 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 it you get the feeling that they shouldn't be in this game, and that's a scary feeling for Team Canada. And we're going to keep an eye on the ice. There haven't been a lot of people worried about it out of a, a player's hands, but then it seems to come down really quickly. When you look at the lead position, there's nothing to choose between them. So they're both putting their teams in an equal situation. But that last one by Sarah was supposed to be a freeze, and it's considerably short of the house. We were time. talking about Curl the break, Joanna and I. Michael, I don't think Michael. it's slowed down that hard, much since hard, the start hard. of the game. I think it's okay. a fraction slower than <laughs> other Scotties. Yeah. You know, you, you, you get yeah. some at 15, and, you know, this is more right. like a 14. It's it's yeah, maybe that five like feet, four feet slower. Oh yeah, even tonight, I don't feel like it's gotten like lightning. Around. No, no. right. Point. We haven't seen anyone yep. right. miss heavy. And you know way better than I would, but I assume the brushing's not quite as effective when it's a hair slower. I would yeah, just have to yell more. I sometimes know you're sweeping and it feels like you're you're not extending the life. You're not yeah, adding. Yes. Right, you're just kind of keeping it from stopping. Yeah. Really warm building, big crowd, good, night draw. It, it 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 could definitely yeah. slow down here as we as we go along. Yes. Hard. Hard. The line's good. Hard. The line's really good. Hard. Go go go. Hard. The line's great. Hard. The line's good, guys. Keep go. Going. Good, good spot. 14, seven. And Canada's not going to mess around mm. with adding more rocks in the rings yeah. this yeah. time yeah. around. They know yeah. if they can score one point yeah. here, they're in a great yeah. position. Go. Yeah, probably the best end they played. They gave up a steal. <laughs> And there's where there's a huge edge. So the leads were equal, but this is where there starts to be a real difference in the order. At 91%, yep, yep, Shannon Burchard is yep, doing what yep, she yep, usually yep, does, yep, yep, and it yep, has yep, been yep. Ashley Sipola that is uh, with 20% less. Well, you're going to see a difference in terms of what degree of difficulty the thirds have because it flows through the order. Simple raise double at some point if Team McCarville chooses. It's hard, almost impossible to get it out if you're Team Canada. It's an interesting situation. Hey, you've got to think at some point Team Canada might stop peeling and yeah, try to sit three. Right. I mean, they're well, first and second right now. Or even even tight. move one of the reds yeah. so that then the yellow is accessible. Don't need two for weight. We're really tight. We don't want them to be able to. Okay, good, good. What do we, we gotta do something soon, eh? Dean eight, what are you thinking? Oh, gotta do Well, and I yep. noticed that yep. even with yep. Andrea yep. in the yep. lineup, it is Sarah Potts that usually goes down to discuss uh, yep. Yep. strategy yep. 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 and timing yep. 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 of tactic yep. 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 changes. And 
a little bit of her father and daughter's mother, very much a strategist and, and provides that input that is just so common for Krista to receive. Like that? I think hey. if you kind of tap it almost on the nose. Do you like yeah, way? Oh, the red. Do you like I think you line? have to. Yeah, they have to be very careful these tops because if you, what way did you, you tap one of them, let's say the left hand, a deep one, a little too far, there'll be a gimme yellow double to sit three. Now they're trying to top this rock to frozen. And perfect line and perfect weight. I like that. Yeah, there. T back more. Okay, whoa. Yeah, T line. Whoa. I just lost it on curl like, there. The weight was pretty close. Just throw normal mm -hmm. and just kick that one back here. I love this call. Just, just yeah, throw enough. Yeah, make sure enough. we kill the top. Yeah, throw enough what? weight, maybe a normal, to which is top, maybe right? a 10 second in this type of surface. Hit this dead on or hair high. Like here. It releases the normal. red Northern Ontario rock. You, your shooter stays. You've got three to one in there with hammer. That's a fraction off center here. Try to save this rock. Nine. Oh. Oh, curl. 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 Only lefty in the really field this hard. year at the Scotties. Hard. Uh, well, I don't I don't know. We're in. Okay. Not a good toss. We talk about it all the time. It's a, that was a left-hander's out turn. You've been watching all yeah. these left, okay. right-handed yeah. interns that curl so more curl. naturally, but yeah. so you saw 20% difference at second, 20% yeah. difference at third. But it's feeling like Bell's numbers, yeah. even though they're 95, that last throw, it's going to hurt her. But definitely pressure on Krista McCarville okay. when the opposing third okay. is out shooting your third by 20%. Yeah. BC continues to make some hay on Newfoundland Labrador Stacy Curtis yeah, like even a hair and more. Alberta again not looking at all like a rookie team 8-2 over PEI and it is Caitlin Law's opportunity to draw for two on her first was not able to make it and so was forced to one and leads that game by one in eight. Best yeah, curling delivery you'll ever see, huh? male or female. The rocks right underneath her nose. Very, very balanced delivery. Doesn't really extend. She's got lots of leg drive. Good rotation. Be awfully easy to read for Andrea. Yeah, and that's the key for this team. Not getting a ton of repetitions in. The it's less complicated, the easier it yeah. is for the third in the house. Kerry Anderson Whoa. looking to make Whoa. some noise. Two gone and shot. This is warp like crazy. Yep. But I mean, I can throw a nine and a half. This should run, this should run fairly straight yeah. too, whatever you prefer. This is like a nine and a half, I think. Okay. It'll still curl. You could roll a foot either way, and then the top rock shot rock, and it would force Team Canada to either hit and roll or draw against Cross two. The hair, roll. Yep. Hair is way a yep. Yeah, so that's that what they're trying. Like a nine and a half. Oh, I think this yeah. is still Dead on, I think. Uh, 
Kyrie Anderson's going to hit it. Yeah, I think as a general rule, anytime you have a chance to make your opposition think a little bit, yeah, I, uh, you always want to take that. Just kind of slid a little tight and brought it back. Precision hits have been a challenge for Team Northern nine, Ontario. Nine, seven, yep, little yep, down. yep, yep. Whoa, definitely a bit down. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Whoa. Clean. Ah. Ideally, he wanted to roll a little farther, and then there's a little bit less real estate to roll to for Anderson. Well, and this is an interesting figure to me. You had 20% yeah. better second, 20% better third, but the numbers are equal pretty much at yeah. the skip position. All right, you got it. And McCarville shots surprising. have been a lot harder. The player comparisons are brought to you by New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada. So forced to make a choice. Yep. She hits one. Not likely to see Carrie make the draw, but that is a single. Takes the edge to nine.
Welcome back to the Scotties. This is hard to believe, but it is the 43rd edition of Scott Paper's commitment to women's sport. Stemming back to 1982, and it is the premier event that women can play in this country, and it is something that no one takes for granted. And that includes Carrie Anderson's team, whether it's your sixth appearance here, or a team like Selena Sturmick, who is experiencing it for the very first time. It's always a magical week to play in a Scotties. I got to play in seven of them, and just the whole rest of the world falls away. Yes. You don't think about your job or home or anything you've got going. You just get to dial into curling, and especially with a crowd like this. And the nation watching, it's just one of the best parts special. of curling. Nice rocks here, oh, perfect uh, top eight, yeah. guarded perfect. Ooh, Come around okay. the nice guard. This is going to be a little perfect. bit of a guess, so I'm going to err. 100% from the leads this end. Yeah, for sure. That yellow, that's okay. If they okay. roll over there, we'll have a double field. Okay. Yeah. With, with that yellow uh, where it is, too, you can get you can sneak a couple more behind it. Yeah, yeah it, it over curled a little bit, so a bit more space to get around, too. <laughs> This was supposed to be a high guard, calling the audible. found these scary as a skip you're putting the broom down you're asking your player to throw it really firm you don't want to roll out here you roll out off comes the corner guard yeah. but there's always a way to miss it. Yep, so right. trying to throw to tolerance, yeah, you always on your head want to be making that shot. And sometimes if you're thinking too much about, yeah. oh, I've got to keep my shooter, you end up just missing it, but missing it the right way. It's finding that balance. And, and that's what separates the good from the great. You see that a lot. That run back yes, is attempted, yes. but the shooter's lost yes. and yes. Yeah, it's end over. Yes. You would better to jam it than uh, do what they did. Go, go, go. go with me, go with me, go with me. <laughs> The redstone that the broom is beside is Selena Sturme's final. She hit and stuck, was trying to roll underneath a little bit, but got to the nose. And so this is the double attempt for Veronica Main from PEI. Really needs to make the double and stick around with the score the way it is. Well, we could try to blame. Veronica at 60%, but her shots have been tough. Will she get it far enough? Not for two, but does score the single to make it 8-3. Go, 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 really hard, really hard, really hard. so close. I know, All right. Can we get one? Yeah. Two ends? Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Good game, girls. And that tells you all they need to know, discussing the score. And knowing with the spread, and so the rookie skip, the hometown girl, Selena Sturme, is now moving to 2-0, and and the crowd loves it, and they love them. Two well-played games. By and there's the Alberta legends. You see Shanna Kleibrink and others up there looking for a legacy to continue. There's Lorraine Lang. Yeah. Sarah Potts is her daughter. It's not just Alberta legends. <laughs> she had to pay to get in that booth. Eh? <laughs> yeah, probably. There's a brief discussion on our sheet about potentially coming around the Team Canada stones that were in the rings, but Krista wanted 
Opted for yeah. the double instead and said we can always blank. I thought I waited for the crowd, but I guess not. <laughs> Can't wait much longer to score. So nice. Well, they obviously need so three nice. points yeah. to win. Seven. Yes, real good. You'd see some teams, it's still early enough. You'd go right around the corner guard here. Try to create an error and then hit this one. Yeah, it seemed like Krista Double was left. okay with the yeah. blank yeah. pretty yeah. early in this end. Yeah. Yeah, great right up, great right up. Great right up, keep going on it. Stealing Ten in two. that tenth end is still really hard to do, even with mm -hmm. my rock rule and that no tick zone. She's preferring to take her chances at getting three in that tenth. Yeah. If that happens. Okay. Yeah, we can try. Okay. Read. Uh, I like their like with the a points good bet ten. With a three. Yeah. Absolutely. Now he also got five misses in a row, yeah, and you can't count on that happening every time. Yeah, valid point. <laughs> Wait, Kristen's way? Like all the way. Yeah, the way? Okay. behind the corner, just okay. like a a ten, like yeah, hit, so you got it. ten and a half, yeah. where the sweepers have to be really heads up. They're calling a 10, so that's just a lighter weight hit, but if the ice is coming down, the rock will slow as, a, as it goes down the sheet of ice. So you have to reassess, make sure that it's maintaining its speed or else it might curl a little bit more than expected. Well, for Caitlin Laws in this game, she has struggled with draw weight, and on her first, she grazed a guard, and that allowed Ackerman to make a double on her final. Caitlin was trying to hit and roll under to protect against giving up two, but it does not get completely under, and so Skyler is chasing this with an opportunity for two and the lead for the very first time in this game. Oh, look out. Oh, and uses the catcher. But there's your two, the lead after being down four after one. What a comeback. Yep, hard. Yep, yep. Hard. Yep, hard. Yep, hard. 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 Oh, man, would have been better to just uh, yeah, feel it out. Got absolutely. a little too cute with it. Yeah. Trying to roll onto the rings. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Now all, all right. of a sudden it's going to be a hard shot for one if this draw is made. 14-2, 14. Two, 14. Good chance to see here if the ice yeah. is slowing down. Yeah. For Shannon, say 14-2. That's even even a, you, really you obviously want it, you know, okay, top you button it. type thing, but even back four here, make that run back 14. longer. Yeah. Make them take the take the single. Yeah, or try the run back for the blank. Yes. Yeah, I'm just I meaning get some separation. Kristen Karwacki, Shannon Pearl. Burchard. Pearl. 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 Oh, that's yeah. trying to make sure it's buried, Russ. Not gliding quite as far as they thought. Further, further, further. Go, 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 go. Pretty good, though. Pretty good. Sorry? Like a quarter? How much? 
longer. A quarter? A quarter, I know, I'm more saying, I think. Yeah. Yeah, less than a quarter. A little less than a quarter. What do you think? Up to you. Try to hit it out if you, if you I mean, that's. Oh, I don't like that. No, I don't like that. Really? Well, you uh, either we like tap it for your one, or we try the blank. I don't think the With like. You have to know, try like the ten, blank, don't you, Joe? Ten and a half. Bumper, maybe oh, yeah. Both. Definitely. What do you think? Yeah, it's, it's hard to look at. You guys like trying it? That looks really, to roll out with bumper? I, I, I don't think okay. you can. Well, what do you like then? You have to yeah. Take a little bit of ice. You just see when you're playing yeah, those pick fun. shots, big peel weight, the out turn, yeah. near the line. Sometimes they just float the hole yeah. with any kind of outward motion. What do you guys think? They talked about I mean, playing from with bumper. here, the bump for one looks easier. I don't yeah. see a blank unless you run it. Well, the, no, I don't like that. There you is a like, blank. No, I'm There I'm is a blank. Yeah, there's definitely a blank to this. Oh, sorry, with peel? Sure. Oh, no, nine like, like a nine. Like, yeah. Yes. You just you can't take it like shooter. here. Ashley mentioned playing with bumper, and I, I don't think that's Bumper? Seems, no, yeah, we're not rolling out with bumper. Sure. It would just be a tap like this for one. What do you or want the I blank. I don't think we get it out with bumper. No, no, we're not getting it out. Yeah, that card's so tight, Joanne. I think the tap for you know, one is a very difficult well, shot also, so why not play the rewarding one? Nine. Nine? Yeah, and just like that, that tap yeah. for one, you're down one yeah. without yeah. playing tap. I don't like yeah. your odds of beating yeah. Team Canada like that. I think you have to right. go for the blank this end. Do you guys agree with yeah, the exactly. pick? There was two suggestions, one by Andrea, one by Sarah, about running the guard back and trying to blank that way. Krista was not interested in that. Joe, do you agree? Uh, I think this, I like the looks of this one a bit more. That, the run back to spill everything, it's really precise. She's got about a quarter of this, so. Bit of real estate to work with. For Krista McCarville, play this entire end to blank, but with that first stone of hers not rolling on and being a guard, Carrie Anderson took advantage. And now needs to get by the yellow and roll out for the blank and will not. And so that risk did not have a whole lot of reward and now she trails by three.
Well, the team from Northern Ontario will have their work cut out for them in this 10th end, trailing by three. And for Team Canada, throwing those first two rocks by Kristen. And then you can expect that there will be as much removal of stones as possible. Carrie not wanting to leave anything around for Krista to be able to use. And I know she missed the last one, Russ, but do you think that was the bigger mistake or the first one? First one, yeah, good point. First one for sure. They, first of all, they never once tried to score two. And then she was trying to be cute and roll in, didn't roll in, and uh, Anderson made her pay a beautiful cover on my Team Canada there. Great to hear. Uh, Krista, uh, McCarver's last shot was tough. Uh-oh. It was very tough, but it was uh, self-inflicted on her first one. Thought it was over. I thought so too. Oh, that's tough. Misjudge on the sweep for the high guard. And one thing you always say when you're looking at those is, you know, you over sweep it a little bit and you're two feet over the hog line. It's a lot better than under sweeping it by three inches. That's where you it, could that's, argue. Sorry. I, that's yeah, where you could argue stocking them on the same side. It's just yeah. that, that second shot's just so difficult. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is tricky, but it, I, the thing I like about stacking on the same side is you leave yourself the whole side of the other, right. whole other side of the sheet. In this case, uh, they, they can't be choosy. They need both sides of the sheet to get three. Just when you split those corner guards, if you happen to under curl going to the wing, you can block your drop path to the middle. So the placement of these things, you, you don't, as a casual viewer, you don't think it's that important, but it, yeah. it is. No, no, for sure. It hasn't been a perfect game for Team Canada, but they'll all have stuff to draw off of moving forward. Like for Carrie Anderson, for example, making that beautiful come around last end on her last. Talk about her hitting ability, but if she can get comfortable drawing, mm -hmm. you like her chances moving forward in this event. And you know what it's like, Joe, when you come into an event like this, having played in seven, there are times when you win because you play really well. And there are some times that you walk off the ice and think we are much better than that. And you need to win those games when you don't feel that you're at your best if you're going to win this event. Yeah, and that's the, the resilience, the grit, and that's something that this team having played in this so many times and, and had success. They haven't been lights out for every single title for the entire event, but they know how to pull it out of themselves. Try and get a little deeper. And a little tighter is good. Yeah. I think it's a guard though, no? Yeah, I think it's a guard. Yeah, we can go. Okay. It's a funny game. We talk a lot about expectations for teams coming in and for Northern Ontario, I think like? that's making that's a player yeah. change. In your head, you're thinking, okay, well, that's that's the difference, and now this is going to be the key moving forward. But I think about all the teams last year that made changes after the Olympic cycle was completed, and we said for almost every team that had made a change, well, it's going to take time, yes. and there's going to be growing pains. So that can be hard on, on the team itself Whoa, if they're not prepared girl. for those growing pains. And I think we saw girl. a lot of that frustration tonight girl. from Northern Ontario. Hard, 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 hard. Oh. Okay. 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 Well, Stacey Curtis took one last end, and I think that a lot of people might have thought, well, why wouldn't you quit 10 to 4? But for Stacey Curtis and her team, they had the first round by. Here is your opportunity to learn what you can about the ice. And Corinne Brown faced three on her first one, and so it is Newfoundland Labrador starting to get their sea legs under them, if you will, and now looking for a draw to the forefoot. Facing those two. Good judge. And that is Mike good for two. Good. All of a sudden here, three down. And that will be enough. So Corinne Brown bounces back after last night and goes to one win, one loss. And for Stacey Curtis, with only one game in, is in the loss column.
What's that time at? 13.7. Uh, it's down a little, isn't it? Oh, wide, you're still going to get that speed, but 13.7 is a lot slower than it was maybe in the fifth yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think in yeah. almost six feet slower. Oh, we were seeing 14 and a half getting yeah, there earlier yeah. in the game. Oh, oh, oh. Great job. Oh, beauty. Can you talk about that resilience foul with a flash on her first? That couldn't have felt good and bounces back immediately with the run back. Yeah. More. That's so hard. You're running back On the opposition side. stone. Spill them both. Dangerous call, too, because if you have your stuff it. in this Stay situation, close. now the three is uh, yep. a possibility. It's not heavy. It's not heavy. Yes, yeah, and the difference between Stay making the shot and stuffing it is not very yeah, much right. in what you're hitting. Whoa, it's curling too much. It's got to stop. It's going to come out the other side. Now we've talked that maybe Team Canada won't walk away and feel like this was their best performance, but for Carrie Anderson and her team, that deuce in six really made a difference. And we talk about the ninth end. It wasn't the second one that was the attempted pick as much as the first one, which created that opportunity that caused some grief. And when you compare the thirds, Val Sweeting having a wonderful outing. The game story is brought to you by Montana's Barbecue and Bar, Canada's home for barbecue. Like it's like just a wee bit there because I had a piece and then at the end like I thought even with mine because I was a little snug going that way yeah. and we hit it early and then all of a sudden it was like almost backing off a bit yeah. so right. just maybe a little, like hits seem to be gonna say that this in out, that's keeping in mind it's like, day two game two you're, you're still learning yeah. still charting the ice it does look like a lot I guess just tech a piece okay kind of thing I got a 13 7. I was going to say, it seems a yep. little stickier. Yeah. Yeah. Trying for the yeah. Christmas tree yeah. here. 13 7, and we're going to get Go to the right hand side of the screen, right? get half yeah, buried I mean, around the corner. Basically, just guard. anywhere biting. Okay, that's good. And also, be half in front of the rock in the rings. Well, we can, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Okay, me then. Curl. Curl it. Always curl. Snap. Should get big way, movement Sarah. here. All the way. Sarah. All the way. Right to the end. Yep. Okay. Keep going. Yeah. Yep. On the rock. Yep. Yeah. Uh, for Kerry Anderson with the three point edge. Try to make them go away and end the game right here. <laughs> you got it, buddy. Yeah, you got it. Mm -hmm. You can see that she can see all of the stone. Okay, not Please. her best throw. <laughs> 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 well, it may be terrible, but the outcome is just fine, and that is enough. <laughs> so another win in the books for Team Canada, showing resilience in the face of adversity this week. And for Northern Ontario, we'll drop to one and one. We'll be back. Stay with me. The 2024 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is presented by Scotty's Facial Tissue. Unleash the Scotty's by Montana's Barbecue and Bar, Canada's home for barbecue.
by BKT Tires, growing together, and by Home Hardware. Here's how. Well, one of the things about the Scotties is that you are made to feel like a rock star, and you are a rock star for this week. And for Kristen, what a pleasure to be signing them as an active member of Team Canada. Coming off of the win tonight. One other game on the ice still left. It is Saskatchewan and Manitoba Laws. A timeout now for Saskatchewan. That's Amber Holland out there as their coach. with your first and then with your second we always have that maybe. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. We're on the nose and we bump it here, that's okay. Not the end of the world. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think it'll come in nice. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Same ice as you. Yep, same ice and same weight. Okay. 14-1. Okay. Amber also Thanks, Amber. an alternate she can come in to play if they sub. need her and what a great sub that would be. Yeah, still curls a lot, a lot of spiels. Uh, did pretty well at the provincials. So to bring you up to speed the Laws team was in great shape. They called a timeout. And then unfortunately, yeah. Selena drew in and went behind the tee line. That yellow stone sandwiched in there was placed by the third from Saskatchewan on her last stone. And so the one on top, it was Selena's last stone. So it's a lot more messy than Caitlin Laws would like. But Ashley Teveno made a very nice shot. Selena's second was just one inch wide, which leaves Skyler a little bit of room here. Look at those numbers. 
So impressive. Great numbers Line yesterday, in. too. Well then. 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 Love Always to get to the Always inside Taylor. here. Okay. Not light. Uh, Go by, girl. then. Go by. Go by. Go by. Go by. You don't want to tick that red Go in by. for second. Her. Very fortunate. Just that little bit of extra adrenaline. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't been watching the sheet, but would have been fourth down that line. Might have gotten faster. Yeah. I know. Because I don't. We'd have to hit like a millimeter. Yeah. What do you think? Think we do it now or do we? Whatever you're seeing, Caitlin. My first thought was with that and then hoping to unlock this with okay. it. Okay, hit it as soon as we can with yeah. the solid hack. I was thinking board. Okay. Do you like that? Yeah. Okay, you got it. The problem here is if you don't get it super thin yeah, and you it. hit it this way, yeah. the yellow one actually gets better. The yellow one could end up into this type of situation. Then what do you do? It's a tough situation here to, to draw through the red port would be a shot, but that's very difficult too. So Caitlin's right in saying at least we can release the back red, which allows us to hit the yellow on our last one. It just depends on if she hits this too thick, the back yellow will be buried second shot almost on the button. I thought they might almost throw it harder. And yes. Get some action off that yeah. side red to spill it into the button area. The Manitoba team has a plus at every position except for Skip. Caitlin just grazing on a number of stones and not yes, getting the yes, results yes, she yes, wanted. Yes. Might have to go to the audible here and go to the inside. A double, is there not? Mm -hmm. I don't see how we're ever like, we just have to make sure we're quiet. We don't really want to there. Do we ever hurt ourselves? Only a few. Come take a look, you guys. We got I, lots think, of time. I think we should play it because how else are we getting this out? Like, it's really hard to make how does this she get to right over now? this? If we go here. She has that top. Tons of like room this? here. This if goes, go that here, goes, that's out this, there. The yellow out. stays here. You yeah. sit too. I think and so. I don't we know make it what hit. Caitlin Laws okay. does. I think we have to come this way. I don't think we can. Yeah, that guard's I agree. Let's play the out. Yep. Deal? Yep. We can play the deal. Sorry? I don't think you can ever hit it too thin. No, I don't think so either. Okay. I like there with heels pretty close. Hey? Okay. Do you like that? Yep. I, like it. Okay. I love What's this call, guys? Russ. Yeah. Let's yeah, absolutely. No question about it. Even, you, even hit it a little too thick and yeah. don't make the double. You roll your shooter in, it, it makes it really tough to score two. For sure. And Skylar's yeah. hitting ability has been mm. so impressive already this week. Yeah, it does. Yeah, <laughs> it looks nicer down here than down there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Caitlin had to miss it the other way. Some support. Easy field here. Twenty two years of age for Scotties. Well, close, close, well, well, curl, curl, close, curl, 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 curl. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. Nerves of steel. We are seeing the rookie skips in this field just play like veterans. Could not have hit that any better. That's right where we drew it, Kathy. <laughs> well, they are enjoying every moment. You heard them say the crowd goes wild. This is fun. It sure is. Who it's not fun for right now is Caitlin. Tough shot. Yeah, you've got to hit this incredibly thin. I don't think the top yellow goes very far. And a piece of that yellow one, is that easier? Not sure you can even get I'm shot rock here. Can... Such an angle. You like this? No. Right. I have a piece of the yellow. If I just tick, tick. 
kick. Okay. Yep. That's yeah, that's yeah. an easier shot. Got it. They do not have time, which is why they're running up and down the yeah. ice. They have used their single time out. And now Just under 30 kick. seconds on the clock. Yeah. They can see a millimeter of this top yellow. If you can hit it, yet okay. your shooter hits the red, gets the back yellow, and you might sit two or three. The other shot wasn't there. Final shot great, for Caitlin great, Laws. Great. And she does not connect enough. And so from a four-point deficit in the first end, in back-to-back -back games, in back-to-back -back nights, going down four early and fighting their way back to upset Caitlin Laws. An 8-6 win for Skylar Ackerman and her team from Saskatchewan. So here's where we are at. These are the two pools at the top of the board. A rookie in Sturme. Anderson, not a surprise, but Ackerman. Two out of those three are rookies at this field and not showing any nerves. And then that drop by McCarville and the win by Brown. And on the other side, tomorrow, we'll have an opportunity to see those teams. Obviously, Grandy, Cameron, Jones, and Holman looking to go to 2-0. Tomorrow morning, when Brian joins us, it will be Rachel Homan coming off her victory earlier today, taking on Danielle Inglis that got caught with a little bit of ticks and some hog line violations. She will try to rebound and go to one and one. Uh, what a battle today. Northern Ontario, Krista McCarville, always a factor at the Scotties. Was it their best performance tonight? They seemed confused and bemused, but Canada, they found a way to win, not their best performance. We expect better from them, but they find a way to win, and that's why they've been on the podium at the top four consecutive years in a row. Sports Center is next. Canada's best curling here on TSN.